Hello guys, welcome. This is today's Python top tip tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how you can test your code before deployment. Testing your code is essential before deployment. So this uh, helps you cache errors and fault conclusions before they make any impact. So uh, in this uh, video, you are going to learn about how you can test your functions using unit testers. So if you wanna test your functions in a way that is repeated and automated, ideally you would run a test program that runs all your unit testers and can only lets you know which one is paired and which ones succeed. So fortunately, there, there are great tools available in Python that you will use to create effective unit testers. That is called PyTest. PyTest is a great Python library that uh, will help to create effective unit testers to test your Python uh, functions. Today, uh, employers are looking for data scientists, data engineers, or software engineers with the skills to properly prepare their code for an industry setting, which includes testing their code. So if you wanna be a software engineer or data scientist, you should acquire the testing skill. So you, because you should make sure that your code are free from any fault conclusions before deployment. So uh, unit testers, uh, there are advantages and disadvantages. The advantages of unit testers is that they are isolated from the rest of your program and thus no dependents are involved. And they don't require access to databases, APIs, or other external resources of, sources of information. So this is the unit testers advantage. However, passing unit testers is not always enough to prove that your program is working successfully. However, uh, you can use integration test if if you build large program. So the disadvantage of unit testers is that in large program or parts of the program not work cor uh, properly, not communicating and transferring data between them correctly. However, when you start building larger programs, you will want to use integration tests as well. So this is another type of test and you can use integration test to create your, uh, I mean, create your uh, integration tests for your code. And uh, the first step to test your code is install PyTest library for unit testers. Uh, <clears throat> you can open up your terminal and uh, you can create a virtual environment for your program and your library in the same directory for easily detecting the testing programs of your code. So here I have created a virtual environment and I'm going to install the PyTest library on the same environment, which I have created the code and the test program to automatically detect the testing code. So you can install pip install minus you pi test pi test is a python library to create a unit test for your code then i have already installed you can uh, just install using this code this command and once you install you can create your own function a python function any function actually and i have already created uh, one function compute launch this function returns how many days left 
before launch. Just this function takes two uh, arguments, current date and launch date. By subtracting the uh, current day from launch date, it returns how many days uh, left before launch. So you can create your own uh, Python program, Python function. So I'm going to test this uh, days until launch function using PyTest Python library, which is a unit test. Then once you have installed and created your Python function and save as .py, uh, then you can create a test file. When you create a test file, the test underscore should be the prefix of your file name. So the Python file name should start from uh, test underscore because the PyTest library will automatically detect if there is a file which starts, the file name starts with test underscore. So you always create a file name with, by starting with test underscore. Then you can follow it by your file name. Compute launch, that is the same with the file name. I have created the function. Then in this function, in this file name, under this file name, I just import the days until launch, this function from uh, compute underscore launch file. Then uh, inside this test file name, you also create a function begin with test underscore. And let's end that otherwise your test uh, unit test or pi test library will not detect your functions. Then in this function, you can call the function that you would like to test, right? The days until launch function, which is imported in the header and pass the arguments, the values of the arguments. 22 is the launch day. You can check current day. And 26 is, <clears throat> 26 is, the launch day, then this returns, this returns the subtraction of the left, how many days left by subtracting 26, uh, 22 from 26. And the assert uh, is a statement that used to check the errors, cache the errors in the unit test. Then compare with four, for example, 26 minus 22 is four. If it is true, it's going to succeed by uh, testing the unit test. The same true for the second uh, function. I just repeated the uh, call and uh, assign different values into the function. Uh, and this, uh, the subtraction between 253 is equal to zero. And uh, this is 83. This is 64. Uh, 64 minus, uh, minus 83 is negative, but uh, for to show you how, which one succeed, which one is failed, I just uh, put it zero. The same is true for the last function, different value. And I'm going to show you how you can test because your function, your testing function, your Python function and the PyTest libraries are in the same virtual environment. So when you type PyTest on command prompt or terminal and enter, it's going to automatically detect your test function, your test file, because the default uh, file name of test is starts with test underscore. This is a default to, uh, it is default that's tests for you. 
then inside this file name, it will it also detect the functions which begins uh, test underscore. So in this function, uh, there is one field at the bottom of this file. You can check how many are failed and how many are succeed. Three functions are succeed and one failed. And at which function uh, that the error is occurred, you can uh, detect which one is failed. So at uh, this function test days until a launch zero negative, uh, that is the values 64, 83. When you subtract 80, uh, 64 from 83, it, it, it is not giving zero. It's not equal to zero. It gives a negative number that is negative 90. So that's why this is an error and you can fix your error and you can test again. You can go to this and you can assign to minus 90 and you can run the test again. Yes, now uh, the test is succeed. There is no error or any, there is no fault or there is no even syntax error. For example, uh, let's try. If you, something here, there is some errors here. For example, if you avoid the colon from the function, the block of function, and you can test this. So this test is not uh, succeed. Syntax error. So there is a syntax error in your code. Uh, interrupted one error during collection. So you have to make sure that your code is error. So the test is not succeed. So you can just avoid um, uh, correct errors and you can again test your, uh, so now it is succeed. So this is how you can test your functions using unit tests uh, with PyTest Python library. Because you should acquire the skills how you can test your program, your code. Because you should make sure that you should avoid the errors and fault conclusions before your program make a major impact. So this is today's lesson. If you like uh, this uh, tutorial, if you enjoyed uh, in this tutorial, like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel and receive daily tips. Thanks for watching today.